Hey everybody, Basil and Will with Grayson Hobby, and today we have two new airplanes from He Wing. Yep, He Wing RC Hunter Series. These are a Profile F22 jet and a Profile SU27 SU27 flanker and F22 Raptor. All right. So in this video today, we're going to go over high level. Uh, we're going to go over what comes with the kits, brief overview on how to build them, uh, what receivers to use, and all that good stuff. Next part two, we're going to go out and fly. Well, where do I get these jets? These can be purchased at GraysonHobby.com, or if you're in the Loganville, Georgia area, come by the shop and get them in person. Nothing drop ships. Everything is located right here. So when you click the checkout button, it ships right here from Loganville, Georgia. All right. Don't forget the glue, receivers, and batteries. All that's in the link below. All right, guys. So what we have here is the He Wing Hunter Series. Um, these are nice little small park jets with a 400 millimeter wingspan. Um, as you can see here, let's see what that is in inches, actually. I'm not sure off the top of my head. That's roughly... 16 inch wingspan or so uh like the f22 here is roughly 20 let's say about 23 inches or 22 and a half inches long um so just to get an idea of the size for these guys they're running two nine gram servos a um 1306 motor 3700 kv these are designed to run on two cell lipos between 500 and 800 milliamps and we got some right here and they're actually my lipos <laughs> And then, um, so these do, our version here that we have in stock does have a flight controller in it, um, designed for the two cell operation. You plug in the servos to it. Uh, the flight controller has the stability control, which is like your safe mode kind of, um, AS3X style, if you want to consider it that. And then just your more standard gyro, um, control that helps stabilize the flight. So it doesn't hold position, but it stabilizes the flight. But you will need a receiver. You will need an S bus okay. style receiver. So, um, those of you with Spectrum, sorry. No, uh, there is S-Bus out Spectrum receivers out there from third-party companies, but we won't get into that because hopefully nobody's using that anymore. What do we have um, that we So can... we have a couple different receivers that I would prefer to use. Um, the two I would recommend is the R81 from Radio Master or the, um, the R1 Mini, the V2 Mini from Jumper. Either one of those, these are nice, small, compact, three-wire connections. Uh, easiest setup on this. This one's going to be the easiest uh, because it has the wire. Otherwise, you just cut the supplied wire and solder to this one. Okay. Um, other Radio Master receivers, if you have a standard receiver uh, that has an S bus out, like for instance, on this one, just to show you guys, I did not glue this part. This is normally glued, but I want to show you guys. This is a 168, the R88, uh, the R86C. They have an S bus out, and you can hook it to there, but it's just a single three wire connection. Okay. So it should go with the speed controller while we have it open. So the speed controller mm -hmm. on this one is a 20 amp. Uh, there's either a black or clear shrink tube, but it's like a 20 amp ESC. It's got a little built-in back. The servos plug into the flight controller here. They do use a JST style connection, uh, so you will want to use this if you guys plan on using no gyro or anything. You'll have to change the connectors or get a uh, receiver that's capable of the same plugs. But this is really set up as all occlusive minus a receiver um, and a battery. Okay. Um, what kind of material is that? This is, they call it magic board. It's <laughs> What? It's like a really dense Depron. I don't know how to really describe it because... Dollar Tree foam kind of... No, it's strong. I mean, it's, it's really dense foam. It's nice. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. I had, years ago, I had an F-22 similar size and a Depron. And that thing, I swear, if I just looked at it wrong, it broke. Yeah. Um, this is pretty impressive. It's got a nice little silk screen print or whatever it is on the top um, here. Both of these are this, being the same, obviously. Yeah, and they're very similar builds. So if you built one, you've built the other one pretty much. They go together very similar, other than the physical difference of the aircraft. Um, but guys, these things go together pretty quick. Speaking of build, hold on. You used their foam deck, right? Um, I used a combination. So depending, I wanted to try different things, but I had a, a little bit of the foam tech, but believe it or not, most of the build, because I wanted to do it quick, was the Bob Smith um, Super Gold CA. Foam safe. Foam, yes, foam safe. Um, and the Insta set. Between that two, it was just easier to put okay. it down, spray it. Um, and then put like a bead afterwards. But you definitely could build foam tech. It'd probably take a little longer. Drive, but yeah. by using the foam uh, safe CA and the kicker, I was able to build these things in like 35 minutes or so. Yeah, they're pretty quick. Um, the first one, I think the first one took me almost an hour. This one took me about 35 minutes because it was almost the same build. Um, and the one downside I will say is the there is no paper manual included with it. You do have to go to the website. Um, and uh, use the link for the for the manual. Uh, I try. I went to print it out. It printed out. It was like just a corner. I couldn't get the whole thing to print. But realistically, 
it's very straightforward, like grab piece one, interlocking piece two kind of thing. Um, so as long as you, you know, look twice, glue once, you'll be okay. Um, Manual was pretty good. Yeah, no, it, it went through everything, and the CG's printed on these. You can see a little circle there for the CG mark. Okay. And then on this one, I believe it's also, yeah. So where does the battery actually physically go? So the battery on this guy will go in the cavity here. Well, this has got the... Ah, brand new battery. Yeah. I didn't take it out, but the battery will go okay. into that slot there. Oh, there it there, is. Now, okay. one thing to remember, for some reason, we got XT60s on the F22 that was supposed to be XT30s. JST's on the battery, but the SU27 came with a JST on the battery. Okay. Not really sure what happened there. It gets a little disconnect between us and China. But, hey, that's what we got. If you need us, and they do come pre-soldered, the motor and everything, so there was no soldering to do this. If you do need a change connector, I would do it before you start the build. Um, just to make it easier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just little linkages set up. It comes with an extra linkage. It comes with oh, some talk about the straps. linkage real quick. So the linkage system. This is a the this setup. Is. The elevator and ailerons work together. Um, I've seen this in similar 50 millimeter, the old Sky Angel series from J Power years ago. They flew awesome. So I have no doubt that this style airframe, either one of these airframes, will have any trouble flying really good with this configuration okay. at all. Because these, this is a, I've flown this style airframe before okay. with this. So what I'm referring to, the servo here is hooked up to the aileron here. Yeah, which is also linked to the elevator. I never, I have personally never seen it. So you're going to set up, um, <clears throat> with these, with the flight controller version, there's no delta mixing. You set up a standard thing. Uh, Controls you may have to reverse the elevator or aileron depending on how the servos move for you and your radio okay. um, But basically you just set that up there and then the rest of the mixing is done in the flight control and everything So you don't have to worry about that perfect. All right, so that's been another video All Yeah, right. and there's a two position switch for the flight mode and a, and a kill switch for the motors Which also disables the servo gyro so you can center the servos look good can't wait to fly them So and there's a little quick rundown on them guys um, little Showing kind of how clean you can do it. This is just a zip ties, some hot glue. I did use a little hot glue just to secure the servos and a little tape to cover the, the wires there and all that. Um, but there's not much to this. And this one actually has the R81 receiver I put in it. Too. Nice. I can't wait to fly these guys. I think I'm so, taking one of them. I'm out. excited for it. I think this is going to be fun. Yep. Uh, you can fly the F-22 all you want. This is mine. All right, guys. Check it out in the next video.